of compromise and collaboration that this development team has brought in working with city staff, uh, and as well as the alderman to create conditions for the rezoning that protect the neighboring property owners. This development team has agreed to 16 different conditions on the property. These include cutting off vehicle access to the existing neighborhoods, adding a traffic light to 53rd to ma help manage traffic in that part of the city, increased setbacks, height restrictions, some use restrictions, even changing uh, the buildings abutting the residential from townhomes to semi-attached. Uh, so we have made considerable uh, compromises and allowed a number of different conditions um, in order to protect the residents' interests. And with that, I'll hand it on. These are appropriate land uses for the land. That was the, the opinion of our city staff. That was the, the, the opinion of PMZ. And after reviewing the case for six wait weeks, I've come to the, to the same conclusion. Um, it, it's an appropriate uh, zoning. There's also a lot to like about the development. Uh, first is that it's a mixed use uh, between commercial and residential. But also as you dig in further to that, you've got mixed use and housing type. So you have uh, single family detached, you've got rental, you've got owner occupied. Um, that is the housing stock that we need to do more of in the city as opposed to putting uh, all of the same type of housing in the same neighborhoods. Um, and then it's walkable. Um, so I, I would imagine that the folks in the neighborhood, whether they supported it or not, in, in the end, if the development gets done, uh, there will be a lot of evenings where uh, you walk to uh, some of the development features that, that would be built. 